Hey guys, good morning and welcome to KCMD. Yeah, man. Uh, we're out again this afternoon and uh, I came back to the property that I have a permission on uh, where I've had uh, Park Rat come out and visit a couple of times. And uh, I'm on my first target and uh, let me switch the camera on. I'll show you what I got in the hole. So here we go. First target of the day. It's going to be a piece of a. Uh, water faucet spigot or, or uh, handle very cool happy to have that one in the pouch and uh, we'll see you on the next hole guys okay guys so uh, I have to share this one this is such a cool find here um, here's your target and it's it's one of those uh, metal tubes but the root has grown through it see if we can cut that root away and get it out so you can see it there we go check that out the root grew through the hole in the tube how neat is that all right guys I'll see you in the next target guys check this one out that's a big old tube there the top says follow directions that's always a good thing to do. A nice big old metal tube there. All right, we'll see you on the next target. Okay, guys, so we're on the next target. And um, I got a couple of things out of this hole. One that's metal and one that's glass. So first is the metal. And as you can see, it says Chrysler on it. So this is off from a, uh, a car. It's a, a model manufacturer tag. Off from a Chrysler car. Now that's pretty darn cool. Uh, the second item, and, and it was at the top of the hole. And if you remember, the last time Park Rat was out, he found a silver dime out here, and he thought maybe it had been in the fire. So now I dig this out. Check that out. So that bottle has clearly been in a fire. Um, it's it's got a little bend going to it. Um, pretty cool find it's intact it's got some some writing on the bottom uh, I'm not sure what kind of a bottle or what this would have been used for but let's see if we can get it upright it's got a little bit of age if anybody knows anything about what this bottle might have been for uh, just please leave a comment down below let me know what you think okay guys we'll see you on the next target okay guys so uh we all dig those lead weights occasionally from the cast nets and throw nets and such. But I think I'm on the mother load of lead weights. Let me flip the camera around and show you what we're seeing in the hole. It's crazy. Um, and yeah, here, uh, hang on a second. We'll be right back. So I just popped this plug up and I'm on the lead weight hoard. You can see them here. lead weights everywhere lead weights lead weights falling into the hole Look down in there lead weights it's in a nail lead weights up here lead weights holy crap it's a horde of lead weights um, <laughs> once I get them all out and uh, cleaned up a little bit I'll uh, be sure to post a photo of the lead weight hoard. This must have been like a whole cast net. Uh, I, I I don't even know. Um, they're they're a different weight than what I'm used to. The the string is mashed down inside of them. Let's see if we can get that to focalize. There it is. So it's mashed down inside, but there's no seam on them. Lead weight hoard. Okay, guys, uh, we'll see you later on with the wrap-up. Uh, uh, we'll show you all of the, uh, the lead from the hole, and uh, uh, we'll see you on the next hole. It's going to rain here pretty soon, so uh, when the rain starts, we'll cut out. Okay, guys, so uh, we finally finished digging up the lead hoard, and there you have it. That's, that's more lead weights than I've ever dug in a single day. Um, now, I've counted these, so... Uh, <laughs> just gonna throw it out there how many lead weights 
does it take? How many lead weights do you think I dug today? Uh, cast weight uh, net, uh, cast net weights. That was crazy. Um, now I also got the um, the, Cl the Chrysler badge uh, from the Chrysler car. I can't even talk. I'm so exhausted. And I got this uh, on and off water thing, um, water valve handle. Pretty cool stuff. But how many lead weights? Do you think that is? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I did wash these off because they were super dirty. And they're going in my van. You know, in my home. Which is a little messy right now. But, you know, I, I want to try to not bring a lot of dirt in here. Uh, since I sleep here. And the dirt comes with ants. So, check that out. Tell me what you think. Okay guys, so uh, after a little break and uh, unloading all that uh, lead out of my bag, I came back out and we're back on it again. And uh, this time we got a little brass piece. Um, got that little edge cut out on it. No idea what that is or what it could have been from, but uh, it's going to go in the pouch. If you think you might know what that might have been, or from or for, leave a comment below. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next target. Okay, guys, this one was a little bit deep. Um, as you can see by the pinpointer there, all the way down in. And uh, it's going to be a piece of a, uh, a sink pipe. Um, happy to get that out of the ground, clear it out for uh, more cool stuff. We'll see you on the next hole. Okay, guys, so uh, we just dug this hole. And it came out really weird. It came out wrapped around with wood wrapped around it. And then uh, little pieces like this. Now they are they are registering and I think they're like aluminum. But let's see if I can find the piece that I had. It has a, uh, a lead on it. Oh, what did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So then this one came out. It's got the shell of the tree wrapped around it, but you can see there a little uh, copper wire there, a flat copper, if I can get it to focus. Focus, darn you, focus. Oh, it's been a rough day. Okay. There you go. I'm thinking this might have been part of a battery. Um, if you have any idea what you think that might be from drop a comment below let me know what you think okay guys so the next targets out of the hole and there it is I'm sure you'll all know what this is by looking at it um, it says on the top up here made oops, made in the USA with that little tab sticking out on it I think that's going to be the on and off switch from a flashlight. We'll see you on the next target. Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, we've got a mystery item. This ring up pretty good. Give me a solid tone. It's got that starlight pattern, star pattern on the back like it's been pressed. When I first saw it, I thought, bullet. You know, those early bullets had the star pattern in the back, but that's not it. It's got a tube coming up out of it it's hollow inside if you got any idea what that might be drop a comment below we got lots of mystery stuff today all right we'll see you on the next target okay guys we got our first coin of the day gonna be a modern dime and get that to focus it's getting really stupid hot out here again um, I don't know if I can get the date on that or not. I think it's going to be in 1976. So a bicentennial dime. Alright guys, we'll see you on the next target. Alright guys, so uh, like we haven't had enough of this stuff already today. Here it is, a little more of some older lead. A lead pour there. A little droplets of lead. A 
Love the lead. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to be wrapping it up pretty quick here. It's uh, getting late in the day, um, and I'm I'm starting to get really tired. So um, we're going to swing towards the van, and um, if I get another good target, we'll stop and have a look at it together. And and if not, I'll see you on the uh, second wrap up. All right. Okay, guys, so here we've produced a couple of items. Uh, the two-way valve, big old hunkin' chunkin' piece of brass there. And then another, uh, some kind of a twist valve, maybe off from a motor vehicle or a motorcycle. Um, so, uh, yeah, two more, uh, two more rusty relics in the, uh, in the pouch. Okay, kids and campers, it's wrap-up time. And what a day it's been, holy moly. So... Uh, of course, we got the big pile of lead. We never have enough lead. One really old sinker. And a whole bunch of not-so-old lead weights from a cast net. How many you think there are? Uh, comment down below. Let me know how many you think there are. I did count them. Okay. We got a dime modern, a penny modern. Another small piece of poured lead right there. Um... Uh, the two-way um, water, water connector, another, some kind of a connector, uh, on and off valve, something like that. This jobber here, I think might have been for like, uh, I don't know, hanging a flag or something. Um, it's got a little writing on the bottom, but I can't read it. Or maybe it's just blistering. Um, it's white metal or pot metal, okay? Um, a piece of a, uh, a light, a light casing, yeah, yeah, okay? Um, the switch from a flashlight, a mystery piece, another mystery piece. And a little grommet. And of course, the bottle. The <laughs> This is for when you've had too much to drink. Um, the bottle bends with you. Yeah, man. Alright, guys. This is Dennis with uh, KCMD. Kick and Cancer Metal Detecting thing. Yeah, man. Living a dream, baby. We'll see you uh, on the next hole. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more action and fun.